Hi, everyone. So today I want to talk about press and really how you should work with press, when you should convey is good press, bad press, any press, good press for you. What kind of message do you want to send in terms of how you portrayed by within the media and in turn your customers? So behind me, I am grateful and I feel fortunate now we've had a lot of these types of media actually review us. And I'm just showing you, these are some snippets we could at our Soho location, our repair center over here. I do feel very fortunate. I, I will talk about how I got started into this. Um, my first media uh, exposure was actually not for New York Computer Help. It was for one of our first clients to read Baxter Day Spa. And love the spa. They've been sold to another company for more than years, but they did really well. Great company. I've always made sure that our clients, your customer, or anybody you deal with in life it aligns well with our morals and the fabric of what we stand for. And then she did. So why was I called about to do a media exposure for her? I was sent up as a guest, a customer, which I was being part of a spa. They do massages, whether it's full body, on hands, on uh, facials, you name it. At the time, Blackberry was still Blackberry and the iPhone didn't come out yet. And there was this big sort of thing about the Blackberry phone. If you typed on the Blackberry, it's all about your phone. Right now, and you're, in, when you're on the iPhone, you still have your thumb, but you have your fingers and your hair and there. So it was all about the Blackberry thumb. And the New York uh, Post basically did this whole article about Blackberry thumb and, and issues with it. And so I, as a tech expert in the field, was there to say, yes, I have issues and I feel it all day. And it's killing my thumbs. And it's true. I basically put it out there. I don't have regrets doing that. I was helping out a customer. And I was telling the truth. So I don't have regrets. Was it the best light I could be in? Probably not. But again, it was like still within my zone, tech field. And it was a talking point. And it actually was a talking point to some customers that I was able to gauge and, and go from there. So it was helpful. What I want to talk about is when you get through some media like this, I'll review some of the media we have. So conducting a tech audit. This was big for us and still is big for us when we go to on-site customers, companies. It's really about white hack consulting. A customer might be working with an IT person right now that they're not hacking with. Most likely that's why they're switching to you. And so you want to do an audit. You want to make sure what they're doing is okay. You don't want to badmouth them, but you want to basically say, hey, look, this is bad, this is bad. We should be doing this, so on and so forth. So this is very helpful. We have another one over here. When we started getting into a lot, a lot of laptop screen replacements, as we do, we were talking about also, how do you clean your screen? Screen's doing okay. How do you clean it? And then we get into here. So those are definitely on point on in the zone. This one is more generic for us, small business apps. This was a little later back in the day when iPhones were just like going crazy with all different types of apps. So this really broke down, hey, this is our go-to list. And then we have some who are here that are getting into when then how we store key and help, which was definitely very helpful for us because then we could funnel customers to us. And then we started getting into like more behavior customers. I mean, how do they feel? What kind of environment it is? Here you see that there's all different ways that you can have your employees and your staff. And obviously I wanted to, and I always want to make sure that our guys feel comfortable. And this essentially like them is something about the wearing sweat pants so they can feel comfortable. And then lastly, spills on laptops. This is from the New York Times. It's a really cool one. Essentially, you want to just be on brand, be in the zone of what you do. And uh, that way you can tout your services and support what you do. And yeah, I just wanted to share that's so when you're dealing with press, try to make sure, and this might sound obvious, but stay in the zone of what you do. Just don't get pressed to get press. Really tailor and carve out what you're looking to do for your company and your brand. All right. We'll speak to you next time.